Okay, if you're ever in the Jasper area and the Icefield Parksway, we're going to show you five places that you should probably put on your list of where you should go. And make sure you don't trip on those roosts that I'm walking on right now. <laughs> These places are epic. Like right now we're walking along the Athabasca River and just back there was the Athabasca Falls. Now it's super easy to access because you just park your car. Your house. You, or your house. <laughs> yeah. And there is RV parking. Yeah. And Lots it's on it. a main road. You don't need to be any kind of a hiker to come and see the majesty of this amazing place. And the hike we went on yesterday for the glacier and the and the uh, pool at the Edith, Edith Cavell, Cavell Mountain. Mountain with the Angel Glacier. All you have to do is be able to do a brisk walk for half an hour. If you can do that, well, you can do that hike. That hike you actually do need to be in a little bit of shape because it is a pretty steep incline. That's why I said brisk. Yeah. Then if you can do a brisk walk for half an hour, you can do that hike. Yeah. Are you looking? We just drove the 14 kilometers up a very, very windy road. Yes, we did. To the Edith Cavell Mountain. Uh, and there oh, it is. Oh, what? Did you hear that? No. This is. I hear rocks. But look at that, the glacier. Where? Can you guys see that? Oh, yeah. It's falling right there. Right there. Whoa. Can they see it? That was so cool. Can you see it? I've, I'm catching it. Okay. That's what you were hearing. You were Let's hearing go closer. Research. So here's the beautiful lake at the bottom of the glaciers and actually up against the glaciers. Just awesome. Having so much fun. Wow. Isn't that so cool? Um, uh, yesterday, the glacier people were taking hiking poles. Uh, at the five lakes, we took hiking poles, really didn't use them much. We didn't need them. I liked having them for going down the steeper parts. The Valley of the Five Lakes does have um, a fairly steep beginning and a fairly steep yeah. end. Um, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. Not at all. Yeah. So, Lisa, what do you think? Gorgeous up here. Can you see lake number five right there? Wow. The first. The first. Let me take a selfie. Oh, of course. No, no, no. Go down there and take a selfie. Look at the lake number five. What? Well, this is pretty nice. This is, this is very nice. Hey, get over here. <laughs> Don't be so... Shy. Lisa, shy. Whoa. <laughs> I've never been shy. This, this is, is epic. Wow. Alright. Look at that. You want to go for a swim? Do it. Put my water shoes on and go for a swim. Go put your water shoes on and go for a swim. And then complain for the rest of the day. Because I'll be so cold. I'm wet. And actually, I do see a thunderstorm building over there. So we're not going to do that, even though it's tempting. Look at the rocks setting out in the middle. Beautiful. All right, let me show you a bit more of this. So this is called First Lake. So this is the first lake of the Valley of Five Lakes. But the way we hiked it is we went in, and then we did fifth, Five, fourth, fourth, third, second, and then first. Which is sort of the, the opposite of our mousetraps. And these walks around Jasper National Park, they give you a huge return on your investment. You don't have to walk very far. Like, look, ta-da! That's to gorgeous. See amazing beauty. Now, 
normally there's a lot of wildlife here. We haven't seen any. No. Nothing bigger than a woodpecker. <laughs> yeah, and squirrels. And that's it. <laughs> so you may or may not see wildlife. That can't be guaranteed. But you will see amazing rivers, lakes, glaciers, and yeah, so that's cool stuff. So. And lots of people from all over the world. I hope you can make it here one day, you guys. It is This is excellent. Epic. But before we show you all that awesome footage, make sure you hit that subscribe button below, give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching, guys. I love this. This is great. One thing about Jasper is there's a lot of artistic creativity that comes through. I love that. downtown Jasper. Look at that amazing scenery behind us. My hair is all a mess. Look at that. I must have been camping or something. I'm on my way to look for a brand new toque for season three. I figured I wore my toque a lot last year so apparently it's a requirement. <laughs> Instead of putting nice things in my hair today and making my hair look good I think every time I went to the bathroom I was like trying to find them out. Oh well, cover my ear, please. I'll donate Whoa, my toque to thank Kent you. and then I'll go find hey, a new toque for Aren't me. we looking <laughs> great? Let's go shopping. Here we go. things about little mountain towns like Jasper or Banff or Lake Louise is all the history involved so this yes. train station is historical and it's awesome I mean, it's also cool stuff like that I like looking around let's places find out like what this. year this was built okay let's do that okay what would be your guess 1927 I'm gonna say 1912 okay let's find out Right here. all over town and this is like the first two guys saw I saw originally but of course you can't buy the first one you see so I looked everywhere right. came back another day and it's like hey let's so let's cute. do two shopping and we're like I can't find what I'm looking for <laughs> I love shopping especially in these cute little towns shopping in your local shops to win Side of the road. Look what's here. It just flows right out of the mountain. That's incredible. Ha! That's awesome. I want to. I want to see what temperature it is. It doesn't look too hot because it would be all steamy if it was. But that's pretty interesting. So look at this rock face here. Ah, oh, isn't that neat?
Guys, I hope you enjoyed our time in Jasper, Banff, and Lake Louise. Thank you so much for watching. We and, enjoyed uh, it. Yeah, leave in the comments below the most beautiful places you've ever seen because really, we think this is one of the most beautiful places ever. I don't remember such a magical, natural, amazing place. It's gorgeous. When we first started RVing, our daughter said to us, why are you leaving this area? She said the Rocky Mountains in Canada are some of the most beautiful places in the entire world. And she would know she's traveled a lot. So <laughs> yeah, um, I think she's right. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, but we do enjoy experiencing different things in life, like the desert or the ocean or whatever. So they all have their beauty. What's your favorite beautiful place in the world that you've ever been to? Thanks for watching guys. See you next Thursday. Go grab life by the tail. Okay, here's the thing. It is hard to leave a place like this. Like it is so incredibly beautiful. But we need to hit the road and get going. Goodbye Columbia Ice Fields. Whew. For now, we'll be back. We will be back. So like the peak right here is Athabasca. But this one back here, right there, that's Andromeda. I'm like, wow, these names of these mountains are so cool. It's so awesome to see the beginning of places that we've been to already, like the Columbia River, the Columbia River Gorge, the Columbia River Mouth, where it goes into the Pacific Ocean. Yes. And this is the Columbia Ice Fields. This is where it all starts. Three rivers come out of this zone Three here. Three main rivers, Three yeah. Three major rivers. One's the Athabasca, one's the North Saskatchewan, and one is the Columbia. Columbia River. The yeah. mighty Columbia. It's just a powerful place to be. This takes us to through the mines of Moria, where we will find untold treasure. Or just dirt. Just kidding. Just ignore that sign. <gasps> Kent, don't go inside there. I'm not ignoring this sign. There's the sign that Kent's talking about. Why? What? And I won't let him go in. We can film inside there. Yeah. Turn on your light. That's creepy in there. All the way in. I'm not just sitting me. Just in? three steps. Just three steps. Oh, it's creepy and stinky in there. I'm not going in. I know it's stinky. I don't even like the wood part. Hey, give me your. Give me the recorder. I want to record what's inside there.